Hey guys, Greg here, and today I will be filming my first installment of um, my birthday book haul. There will be two parts, this being the first one, and in this I will be showing you 6 out of 12 books. Obviously, if you can do math, in the next one I will be showing you the second 6 books, or the other 6 books. 6 plus 6 equals 12, people. Math. Um, but, <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Uh, figured it was... A Saturday and I don't have to work today so I figured I'd just give you this little uh, video hopefully I will be shooting the second part fairly soon if not you guys just have to wait I have to wait to actually get the books but on to the first book it is an author that I've never read and that I really do want to read a lot more of uh, it is Haruki Murakami and this is his newest release which is colorless uh, Sakuru Tezaki and his years of pilgrimage. Um, I really do like this cover. The book in shipping was not damaged, but unfortunately the dust cover was, so I had to get rid of it. It was all ripped up and whatnot, and I really just didn't want to have a um, ripped up dust cover. But if you guys can see, I don't know if my camera's going to pick it up, but really closely, um, the lines that are crossing and all the small symbols and numbers on there are is actually um, the Japanese transit map um, and let me see if I can pull it up it's actually on the inside too you can see it more clearly hopefully but anyway I thought that was really interesting and uh, this is also a very odd um, size for a hardcover it's it's kind of a petite hardcover if you want to call it that but, um, yeah, really, really excited to get into this. On to the second book, which is a book that I was required to pick up for a uh, physics class that I'm taking this semester for high school. And that is uh, Relativity by Albert Einstein. We are not um, going to be using the theory of relativity or by any means. What we're just going to be doing is reading into it a little bit more and just getting to know its makeup and how it's formulated. Um, but... I actually wanted to read this outside of school before I even started taking the class, but um, once I saw the books I had to pick up for it, I was really excited, and um, my sister actually picked this up for me. So, actually really excited to get into reading this, um, because I, I do actually enjoy physics. Um, so yeah, that's, that's uh, Relativity by Albert Einstein. The next book I have is um, an author that I have read none of again, but I do own her third her newest book um, the author is Donna Tart and this is Secret History I've seen this around booktube a lot and um, I was really curious about it it has to deal with a college student and I, I think a murder mystery of some sort so I'm just really excited to get into it and I actually really like the cover too but um, this book um, Really, it came really battered and just damaged. I ordered it perfectly new, and it came with some water damage and some, uh, like, tears and stuff. But what I really care about is that I can actually read the actual text. Um, if I can't, then I have to pick up a new copy, but this is fine. Um, I'm just glad it came to me safe and sound. Um, the next book that I picked up was an author that I'm actually getting another book of, um, hopefully within the next couple days. But the author is David Mitchell, and this was his. This was a book that he put out in 2004, and it is Cloud Atlas. Um, this was a finalist for the Man Booker Prize, like I said in 2004. Yeah, he has been nominated for the Man Booker Prize many, many times, and he has only made the short list. He's never won, but uh, I'm really excited to get into this and um, just overall enjoy it because I know many people who have read this and who have enjoyed this quite a bit so that's that the next book that I received in the mail was um, it is actually a bind up edition of two of the same author's works um, the author is Jonathan Safran Foer and the books are Everything is Illuminated and Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close uh, really good edition. Um, the only damage to it was a little tear up in the binding right here uh, on the exterior of the book. Um, like I said, my main focus is actually being able to read the, the book, uh, the book's text. But, yeah, you know, guys, look at the cover. Honestly, it's a, such, a, such a beautiful cover, I have to say. And it didn't come with a dust jacket, which I actually like. Um, there's a spine. 
really nice book overall, and I've been wanting to read his books for a while. And then the last book which I received today, which is honestly um, a book that I was really on the fence about. I was really skeptical about it. I didn't know if I wanted to in, uh, invest so much time into a book, but now that I have it in my hands and I've actually seen the uh, inside and seen and actually I read the first page of it and I've witnessed the, be the beautiful writing it is um, actually have the dust cover here but I didn't feel like keeping it on it's called Van Gogh the Life by um, Gregory White Smith and Stephen Nath. Um as you can see on the cover it is I thought this was a much nicer cover it is Van Gogh's self-portrait and then on the side it says Van Gogh the Life um, their previous book, uh, a book on Jackson Pollock, actually won the Pulitzer Prize, I believe, in the early 2000s, but uh, I was really excited to get this. Um, I actually heard about this through Goodreads, and I was really intrigued by it. Um, it also has deckled edges, if you can see that. They're a little torn. But anyway, this is a behemoth of a book, and it's just a biography on his life, obviously. Um... Yeah, just thoroughly, thoroughly excited about this, and just, yeah. Van Gogh is one of my favorite artists of all time. One of, his, one of my favorite paintings of his is The Bedroom, otherwise known as The Bedroom at Arles, um, which is actually on the inside covers, if you can see that. Um, but yeah, like I said, extremely um, fascinated and extremely excited about this book. So yeah, that was the six books uh, and the part one of my birthday book haul. I'll, like I said in the beginning of this video, I'll be having part two in either tomorrow or a couple of days, not sure. And then I'll be having a post-birthday book haul because I am a crazy person and I can't stop buying books. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I know I did. So yeah, coming back to you guys with a video soon. Bye.